Mr. Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, special guest, and new guest. Why humor? Why today? Well, for me, two reasons. One, personally, each morning when I wake up, I find that my endorphins have tried to evade my body and my thinking, and I have to get myself back on a level field to get my endorphins activated again. I try to think positive, and I try to think humor and whatever. One reason why I have this license plate, and I usually approach my truck from the rear so I can remind myself each day, laugh for life. And I think it helps me get a few chuckles and maybe once in a while some other people too. Humor in our lives. Okay, did anybody get here today by bus? Nobody? Okay. So I assumed you all drove or maybe you were a passenger in a vehicle. How many were on 485 today? <laughs> okay. Uh, Dave, were you on the outer or inner? 485, the outer or the inner? I couldn't tell you. Oh, okay. And how, who waved over? Yeah, were you on, were you going south or were you going east? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and were you going, were you going east or were you going north? So there you have it. You're driving around the city there and you don't even know where you are or what direction you're going. And I'd say the same, likewise for me. Well, I wasn't on 485 today, but I did have some excitement. I'm driving down Valentine Commons and I look in the rearview mirror just to see what's going on. Or to see if the guy who I gave the fist to or whatever in the dump truck is coming up behind me. And I look in the mirror, flashing blue lights. And I says, oh, oh, somebody's in trouble. I'm the only somebody here. <laughs> So, you know, if, if you've been stopped, you know the feeling, you're thinking, and sometimes you know what you did, it was speeding or something, but a lot of times you don't, you're thinking, what did I do, what's going to happen, and so forth, and the mirrors go on, they, the lights go on, they pull you over, and you're sitting there, and you buckle your seatbelt real quickly while you're walking up to the car, and they didn't see you, and so, license and registration, please, and everything checks out, and then they say, do you know why I stopped you, sir? Well, first of all, if they ever ask you that question, I'm sorry, officer, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, don't say to them, was it because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt? <laughs> I mean, you know, don't volunteer that information. Anyway, so he says to me, well, I noticed you didn't have a plate on your vehicle. Well, it was in my cap because I had to bring it here tonight. <laughs> that caught my eye, but then what made me suspicious is that I saw you use your turn signal, not once, not twice, but even three times in succession. And he said, that's just not ordinary driving habit here in Charlotte. He said, and it caught my eye. So here we are. And so now you're thinking, is he going to give me a warning? Is he going to give me a ticket? How many points? Or worse yet, Sir, would you mind stepping out of the vehicle? <laughs> and you're thinking, what's going to happen next? You know, all the worst things you're thinking of. And then he says, and don't try anything funny. <laughs> well, are these funny things illegal or what are they? Anyway, I didn't get pulled out of the vehicle. Everything worked out fine and I got here in time and whatever. <laughs> but thank you, Dorothy. I did pass a lot of on the way here. A lot of asses. Okay, so there were posing as drivers. So I ask you the turn signals. Do you, you how many use the turn signal more than once today? Be honest. Wow. It's really a lot higher than the percentage in the Charlotte population total, but I'm proud of you. And why don't people use their turn signals? I don't know. They're on the cell phone, maybe they don't care, or I went to a new customer the other day, two and a half miles away, and I counted later, it was 13 turns to get there. So maybe it's just too tedious to use the turn signal. There, left, right, left, right, 13 turns to get there. 
We went to Duke University Hospital last month, 175 miles, and it was only six turns to get there from our house to Oak Ridge. I don't know, you know, that's the Charlotte Roadways. Incidentally, well, I'll get to that later, but when you drive on a four-lane road, Valentine Collins, 51 and whatever, do you like the right lane or the left lane? Or do you just go where traffic takes you? Now, some people are deliberately left lane loggers. <laughs> and I'll tell you, and incidentally, I don't know the correlation here, but a lot of them have a GW on their, on their window or have a peace <laughs> sign. Uh, I don't know the correlation. They're ultra conservative. But they're left lane loggers. And you're standing there at the red light hoping to make a right turn, this person's in front of you, but they wait an extra minute until the left lane is clear that they can make the turn, because they're going directly in the left lane, and they don't want any hasty moves. They need to get that left lane right away, because three miles down the road they have to make a left-hand turn. So, not be unprepared. Now, another thing, finding your way around Charlotte, north, south, east, and west, how many have a GPS? Whoa, great, I, I don't have one, I'm low tech, I think a lot of you know that. Uh, <laughs> and I used to use a compass, I lost it, I asked for one the other day and somebody looked at me like I was a dork. You know, I mean, what is this guy with a compass, north, south, east, and west? So I'm still struggling around, you know, getting around town and whatever. Uh, I do a lot of things repeatedly, so I'm finding my way. Like the other day I was in Mint Hill, and I had to go to the corner of Tryon and South, uh, the corner of Tybola and South Tryon. And so I knew my way, head directly west, starting on Idlewild Road, and I continued on, and suddenly I was on Rama, and then I was on Sardis Road, and then I was on Fairview, and I started to lose faith. I said, maybe something's going on here, but I kept going, and I hit Tybola, and eventually I got to my destination. Thank you, Lord, for giving me that faith. But just going around Charlotte, good journeys end suddenly. So I'm going to leave you with this wisdom. Signal before you break, and keep the corners of your mouth turned up as you drive. Mr. Contestmaster.